Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about editing audio on Shotcut. We're going to be going over how you guys can import audio, edit the audio, and finally exporting the audio format to finalize this video. So yeah, with that said, let's get started with the video. All right, so as you can see, we're in Shotcut right now and I already got these two files. One is a video clip with audio and the other one is just pure background music. Now, in order to import a audio file, all you have to do is just go to open file, go to the files folders that you got all your audio and basically select the one that you're looking for. Now, the one I'm just going to be selecting is a voiceover that I did, but you guys can use either background music or even a voiceover. From there, you just hit open and you can see that the audio file is in the preview screen. And all you have to do is just click and drag it and put it on your playlist so like i said before we have three clips here one is a video clip with audio and the other two is just background music and voiceover from here we're just going to go down to the timeline and we're going to make our new tracks so i'm just going to hit the little icon and add a video track from there i'm just going to select my video clip from the playlist and basically just drag it down all the way to the beginning so we don't leave any gaps now that we have our video clip ready, we're going to talk about how you guys can actually detach the audio off of this video clip. Maybe you guys don't want to use this audio necessarily, but there are a couple ways to do this. So the way that we can detach the audio from this clip is basically select on the clip, right click and just go to detach audio. From there, a new track underneath our video clip will appear with our audio. So from here, you can just do whatever you want to do. You can either mute the audio or basically right click and just delete the whole track in order to remove the audio. And that's basically pretty much it. From there, it's just basically your preference of what you want to do with the audio. But now that we have detached our audio from our video clip, now we can replace that audio with the audio that we have using that same audio track. So I'm just going to pick the voiceover portion of the file and just basically drag it to that audio track where we used to have the other piece of the audio. As you can see, it's a little bit longer than the actual clip, but these are just basically test clips. I don't really have to worry about it, but if you guys do have to edit this even more precisely, you guys can cut or trim the voiceover portion. So I'll be teaching you how to do that. Basically just put the eye marker very close to the end and we can actually hit the split at playhead icon and just delete the other half that you guys don't need. I'm basically being a little bit careless since I'm not really actually using this clip. So that's basically one way you can trim a audio file. So I would just pay extra attention when you guys are editing your guys final video because this is just a test clip so now that we got our voiceover portion i'm just gonna right click underneath that track i'm just gonna add a, another audio track from here we're just gonna select on this track and we're gonna go to our background music file and just basically drag it underneath from here i'm just gonna show you another way in which you guys can actually trim a audio file so i'm just gonna zoom out and you're just gonna grab it by the ends and basically pull it all the way to the appropriate length of your video clip so that's one way you guys can actually trim a video clip too and an audio clip as well so now that we have our audio clips ready, the next step is to actually add some filters and actually edit the portion. So I'm going to start editing one of the audio tracks, which is the background music. So all you have to do is just make sure it's selected, go to the filters tab and hit the plus button. From there, we're just going to go to the audio tab. And as you can see, there's a lot of audio filters that you guys can implement in order to edit this audio file. So the first one I'm going to be using is fade in audio. So you just click on that and it's going to implement itself automatically. I'm going to hit the plus button again and choose fade out audio. And as you can see, if you go to the beginning and to the end of the audio file, you'll see these little overlay shadows basically signifying that there is a fade in and fade out element. The next thing we're going to use is a gain volume. So this is basically the filter that allows you to change the volume of your audio file. You can either pull this level all the way up to make it louder or all the way down to make it much more quieter. So what I'm doing here is just putting it as down as possible. So it's not really that distracting when I'm doing my voiceover. And from here, we just hit plus and we can basically mess around with all of these little filters, such as the noise gate, the pitch, the pan and the mute filter. But we got all these filters available that you guys can actually mess around around with and find the ones that you actually want to use when you're editing your audio file. So from here, we're going to basically do the same thing to the other audio file if you guys have a second one. So I'm just going to choose the voice over track and we're going to go to filters, hit the plus button and we're going to be adding a few filters to it. The first one that I'm going to be adding is a gain in volume and I'm actually going to increase the volume of this video file and we can just look around for the bass and treble and that's basically going to be basically an equalizer and just adjust 
adjust your bass and trebles in your mids as well so you guys can basically listen to this and basically adjust it and to find that sweet spot that you guys are looking for and from there we just hit the plus button and as you can see like i said before there are many many filters that you guys can add in order to make these edits sound a little bit better when you're working with your audio files now there are some tools that will allow you to monitor the audio level inputs when you're editing on shotgun one of these tools is the peak meter tool and as you can see i've added it right here in between my playlist and the preview window and it basically monitors all the different levels of audio throughout your whole video so if we scrub around this video you'll see the different high points and low points of your video ranging from different levels and you'll be able to tell if the audio level is good by indicating its green to when it gets a little bit higher progressing to yellow and then to red which usually at those levels they get a little bit more distorted and so it will be basically an indication of how good your audio's level are if you need to actually increase or decrease the volume of those files so as you can see here in the top in these icons these are all the different tools that shotcut offers including the peak meter tool if you guys want to use this as reference now the last part of this process is basically exporting your video now there's two ways you can actually do this if you guys want a background clip or a video clip attached to your audio well you can basically export this completely like a normal video like how it is now and i actually have a very good exporting video showing you the best export settings that you guys can export a video with audio either to YouTube or for your personal projects but for now I'm going to be teaching you just solely how to export the audio file just alone so let's get into that so as you can see I went back and just basically deleted the video clip and the background music portion of this video and just kept the overall voiceover audio file that we've been editing along with all its filters and all the edits that we did to it so we can just click on the export icon or we can actually go down here to the export tab and as you can see these are basically all your presets that you're going to be using in order to export a video clip or in this case an audio clip so I'm just going to scroll down to the tab where it says audio and as you can see there are different presets that you guys can use in order to export your audio one of them being mp3 and a wave format now if you guys are just using this just for fun or even for a personal project and you're not going to do no editing at all afterwards mp3 is a good option but a better option would be the wave format in my opinion as there are many things that you guys can do you can get the original audio off of this wave format and you can even put it in audacity and make further edits to it or any other audio editing software so i just recommend that you guys use the wave format just for those purposes from here you can just see the little window of options here and we're just going to use the timeline and from here we're just going to go to the advanced and these are basically the advanced formats of the audio and video and codec settings that you guys are going to be using now if you hop into the audio you can see that there's basically a lot of settings but i would just recommend that you guys leave them at default as these are basically the default settings for your specific audio file from here we can see that the format is actually wave so you want to make sure that that's correct leave all the audio settings default unless if you guys know what you're doing and basically can mess around to make it sound a little bit more better according to your own personal reference but i suggest that you guys leave them at default for any regular use as it works really well from here we're just going to use the export file make sure that your file is actually named to whatever name you want it and just click save to whatever folder that you guys choose to save it to and as you can see if we go to the little jobs window you'll be able to see that the audio file is actually exporting in the audio format that we want it to it's basically on the way to export with all the settings and all the filters that we added to this video file so that's basically how you guys can import edit and export a audio file using shot Cut. now if you guys want more tutorials i do have a shotcut tutorial playlist for you guys to see that has so many tutorials on how to edit videos on shotcut as well as some tips and tricks that you guys may learn throughout this playlist now if you guys got any questions feel free to follow me on twitter to ask me or you guys can leave them down here in the comments but that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one